I think it's all better days. Hey guys, welcome to the video by DJ SPRC. Today I wanted to show you how to change the spur in the Mini 8 or the Mini Desert 8. There's a couple of versions of this vehicle here. Uh, as long as it's the Mini 8, you'll be fine with uh, hot racing, steel main gear, 48 pit, 58 tooth for the low C8. Uh, one of the first thing I did is I'm gonna remove two screws to be able to remove the body out of my way. A 1.5 here in a corner. Just loosen this guy here, comes off. Did the other side too. Now we're able to remove the shell itself off the vehicle and have more access to the top of the vehicle. Now there's a couple of screws we'll need to remove. Uh, there's two here. Uh, there's two here, two here, and two more right here. And uh, once those guys are removed, there's two more underneath to remove the back end here. And let's start removing these guys here. And one of the things I do suggest, what I do is I put them on top of the vehicle, basically where I took them out. That way, when I put the vehicle back here, the screws I have here, they're for here, those are for here, and so on and so on. It's a lot of time, it's super frustrating. You're uh, putting the vehicle back and you're looking for your screws. Which one goes where? Where did I remove this one here? I'm like, oh man, it's a bummer. Now this guy here, it's part of the steering bell crank and I'm trying to unscrew it. It basically, it unscrewing itself in the what I call in butter because there's another screw in the, in the bottom that needs to be hold with another 1.5 to be able to remove the top one. Once she's started, we'll be fine to remove the rest. Now we have two more right here. And like you start seeing here, the top plate's moving. Now we have two more screws to be able to remove this, this guy here. It's this one and this one. Underneath the vehicle. Those two screws basically removing them just removes the uh, plastic plate because there's two plates it becomes basically this is a two piece here and I'm not sure if you guys can see it let's see if the camera is going to focus here the reason we're switching the, the spur is basically this guy here it's non-existing she's eaten up completely Now on top of the spur holder, there's a small piece that basically holds, holds, should I say, the bearing in this guy. Okay, now the other thing we'll need to do is basically we need to be able to remove this out of the rear diff. This is where we're gonna remove the four screws and basically what's gonna happen is the complete back end should stay in our hands. Now just doing all just the fours instead of dismantling the complete vehicle, removing the shocks um, and the dry shafts, we're just removing this minimum basic strict minimum i say now 
Now in the meantime, I do want to say to you guys, if you want to join the group on Facebook, look on for, for on Facebook DJ SPRC and join the group. If you have any questions or comments, please post them and we'll be glad to answer you. Now, if I slowly, there we go. Come on. Another one come out. Now I have the complete vehicle in two parts. This part we don't need for the moment. We put it aside. And this is the guy we want to remove. There's two more screws right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Right here behind the spur. It doesn't want to come out. There we go. Oh, she's going to make me. Remove the two other ones here too. do there's two more in the back here physically what what's gonna happen here I'm just gonna back off the back ones I'm not gonna remove them completely the only thing I want to do here is be able to separate the case to be able to remove remove this guy here without splitting the case in two now if you want to you can physically split the case in two but I try again to remove less parts as possible this is just an easy to put back as long as you align this bearing here you'll be able to put it now my back end is still in one piece Let's put the back end aside. And what I do when I do this, I just inspect to make sure everything's fine. And like what I thought it is. Now I'll re remove the main shaft holder. I'm going to grab our 7 mil wrench. Undo the main bolt. And the other thing I do here is when I put the pieces on my de my bench, I follow the sequence they go in. Now, if you don't want to do this, what you could do basically grab your camera, your phone, anything that takes pictures and just take a picture every step you do. That way, it's not hard to remember where it goes. I'm going to push the pin out. Grab some pliers here. Slide the pin out. Put the pin aside. And we'll be able to remove the physical clutch here. Going to push the bearing out. There we go. Grab my knife here. And basically what I'm doing is removing the clutch pad. And this is the spur right here. Now we're gonna take our new one. And put the pads back.
Now, if you want to, you can clean these pads out. You can sand them a bit. Now, these are just dirty. Grab my bearing. Put my bearing back. And slide this guy back. Grab my lung nose. And one of the other thing, tricks I can say to you guys too, if you want your tools to keep uh, holding on parts, just leave them on a magnet or grab yourself uh, something that could magnetize your tools. It's great. Make sure this guy seated correctly here and just push it in. Now try to make sure she's in the middle. When putting this guy here, it's going to key. There we go. Now, just put the parts back where they were. And when you're going to tighten the tighten this guy, try to hold these two parts at the same time. It's not if it's going to slip on itself. And basically when you tighten it and when you can't feel, don't force it, just turn it. I'll grab the back end again. Oh, before, I'm forgetting. Don't forget to put this guy back. And there is a keyed. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. But you'll see it on your, on your part, there's a flat spot. Just make sure to put this guy back. Grab your back end. Split your case in two. Set it back in. And let's put our screws back. Just putting the round screws back. Now what I'm going to do is tighten this one and then I'm going to go back in the back, tighten the other side. And basically I'm just following the steps I just did to remove this guy back. Now, if you guys have any comments or questions, post them below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. And this is perfectly fine here. Now, grab a screwdriver to be able to put these two screws right here. And like I mentioned earlier, don't forget to join the Facebook group, DJSPRC. The link is in the bio. Now we're going to grab our vehicle. This, this is where it comes tricky a little bit because you need to hold this guy and then slide slider down while keeping underneath this part while not <laughs> taking it off the front. What I do in this case, sometimes I just roll it a bit to align the keyed for the middle dry shaft. <clears throat> there we go. Here we go. Push it down. Flip her over. Grab a trusty screwdriver. back end has a hole in the chassis 
and just make sure it's keyed in it right here. If it's not keyed in correctly, you won't be able to put your back end of your vehicle in. Now, I'm not going to bore you guys putting these screws back. Because you guys took it out at the same time, you know exactly where they go. And just make sure you put everything back where it needed to be. Again, if you guys have any questions or comment, post down below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up in the corner here. I do appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe and join the Facebook group. Thanks, you guys.